Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we'll be talking about symptoms which may appear in your life once you start going through that major spiritual awakening. For many people it is happening right now and often we start experiencing that feeling as thought our life is or was false. Like we were living a life through a certain mask and suddenly we are recognizing that it's not who we are and the things we were doing are just not the things we want to do. Maybe we've been taught to do that, maybe we've been programmed to do the things we were doing, but actually I'm craving something much more. Actually I'm craving something much more meaningful. Actually how I was expressing myself was not who I truly am. And that's where we recognize how little we actually know about ourselves. And often at that stage of life, people start going deep into the research of who they truly are. And that's where we, you know, we get into that path of a greater self-awareness. We start uh, becoming more aware of our conscious and unconscious habits, behaviors, our thoughts, our beliefs. And that's where we realize, well, it's not so much about beliefs. It's not so much about um, how we are behaving, but why we are behaving that way, why we believe in those th things. You see, it's not about certain religion, it's not about spirituality, it's not about certain concepts. It's about understanding why we're doing the th those things, what we feel attached to, and what we are avoiding, right? And that's where we truly start becoming um, more conscious of the decisions we are making, the responsibilities we are having to truly take our life back into our power, back into our control and we take care of um, who we are becoming, right? If you feel that, you're going through that major spiritual awakening. The second symptom you may experience is that you're craving for meaning and purpose. Often it happens that way because we just recognize that maybe the way we are living our life is... Uh, is... Uh, really meaningless or we are lacking purpose and we start wondering what's the purpose of life and we may think well maybe life has no purpose maybe there is a purpose but I'm not aware of it or whatever it is but the, tr the truth is we create purpose we create what we call purpose and we create it out of what we love to do, out of what we feel inspired to do, out of what is um, helping us to grow, and out of what can provide certain meaning to, to people around us. So once we learn to combine what we love to do, what can provide certain meaning or certain value to people around us, and, and we combine it with an understanding how to make money with it or how to make a living out of it we eventually create that great package which we call purpose we love to do it we make money with it it provides certain values to, to people around us and as we stay consistent we, we become better at it and that's how to design your purpose, that's how to create your purpose. So don't be so obsessed over finding your purpose, but rather creating the purpose out of what you love to do. And often I find people saying, I just don't know what I love to do. And I always say, well, you're on a path of finding what you love to do. You don't need to know what you love to do. Firstly, you don't know, so you can know at some point in the future, right? We only research things because we don't know the answers. That's, that's the whole point of life. We don't know the answers, so we are searching them. So we are questioning 
um, or we are setting questions so we would find the answers if we would already know everything we would not need to be here so it's uh, you know it's about um, finding joy in searching for answers it's about the path for uh, about searching the answers and finding joy in walking that path and truly focus on joy focus on how that path could be more joyful and that's uh, where we actually get to, to uh, closer to what we love to do. That's where we become really creative with what we are doing. So pay attention to that. The third thing is that you begin to ask deeper questions. Right? I've just main mentioned questions. The answers are actually the questions. We need to learn to set deeper questions. Journaling is really powerful. When you start writing things down, right? We need to learn to set deeper questions. What are deeper questions? We may ask like, uh, what is providing me joy in my life? What makes me unique? How often you ask yourself, what makes you unique? What truly makes you unique, authentic? How authenticity feels like? How it felt like when you were truly authentic, when you were, tr you were truly unique? How it felt like? How it felt when you were in love with something? How it felt like? Or how you were behaving when you were in love with something? You, were you more present, more conscious, more aware? Were you more aware of your thoughts, of your behaviors, and so on? Those are deep questions, because with those questions we start um, tapping deeper into the potentials of who we are meant to be, right? So if you're setting now deeper questions to yourself, you're spiritually awakening. And the thing about spiritual awakening is, is not actually about certain enlightenment. It's not about enlightenment, it's about waking up to life and recognizing how much you were living in a certain illusion and now you're stepping out of that illusion and you're recognizing what life is all about because we don't know much about life until we start researching what we truly love to do because we recognize it maybe it's not about life maybe it's about how we we are able to express life through us right how, we are, how well we are able to express life through us. That's where we stop, stop complaining and we start creating a powerful shift, right? We stop complaining and we start creating. So every time we catch a thought about complaining, we ask ourselves, is it a thing I want to create in this world? Do I want to create more chaos, more negativity? Or I actually want to bring some positivity to this world? Do I actually want to bring something new here? Because, you know, life is always creating new moments, new experiences, new events and so on. And when it comes to expressing life, it comes to expressing new things. And if those new things are coming from greater understanding, greater awareness, and greater sense of love, imagine how many new beautiful things may, may come through you. The fifth thing, the fifth symptom you're going through a major spiritual awakening right now is that you may feel completely lost and alone. It's actually truly a natural process of going through awakening. And the reason for that is that um, we recognize that maybe uh, people which we thought they're our friends were actually just spending time with us because um, they were... Um, uh, because they felt bored, because... Um, and they didn't want to be alone. And sometimes we feel completely lost. The reason for being lost is so you would find yourself once again, right? And those are truly unpleasant experiences. But because of those experiences, we feel motivated to make changes, right? How often we feel lost, actually. Truly, how often we feel lost. Like maybe every single week, there's a moment where we feel lost at something. We feel lost at the uh, words, what, what words to use at our relationships, what to do at our jobs, um, what could be the next project to initiate. 
how to express ourselves, where to go, and so on. We feel lost at so many different levels and aspects of our life. So it's not something uncommon. It's actually a really common thing, but we like to avoid those things. But once we, you know, we have enough of um, avoiding things, we have enough of ignoring things, there's no other way than um, start searching for answers. And that's where you, you start finding yourself. You truly start finding what is resonating with you, what idea is resonating with you, what thought or belief is resonating with you, what kind of um, actions or choices are resonating with you. And you start following the feeling. You start following not what people are saying to you, but you start following the feeling, what feels right. So, so powerful. Once we start following our feelings rather than what people say, it truly completely shifts our life. The sixth symptom you're going through a spiritual awakening right now is that you see through the illusion of society, right? You may recognize how sick the society is right now. You may recognize how lost people are. And often when people realize that, they want to run away from everything. They want to hide from everything because it's truly hard to be in the society which don't understand even themselves. Especially, you know, that's where empaths close themselves down. They feel drained and, and, and we feel like, um, uh, like wherever we go, there's so much negativity, so much of the slower energy. And... That's where spiritual awakening is so important. So we learn firstly to, to recognize how we feel, to recognize our emotions, to recognize what we think most of the time, to recognize our energy, what kind of energy we're projecting, what we're giving, how much we're giving, how much we're willing to invest our energy into certain relationships. And that's where we actually start attracting new results into our lives. We start attracting people into our lives which can help us with that. Sometimes it can be a therapist, sometimes it can be a book, sometimes it can be a certain teacher, and sometimes it can be a random person you meet on the streets which gives you some powerful insights you must know. So if you are recognizing right now the illusion of society, you're going and tapping deeper into the truth of who you are and what's your part of um, being right here, right now. What's truly your job here? What's your mission here? And um, I just want to remind you, do not be so um, focused on what is wrong, but rather how you can make things right. What is truly resonating with you that could you bring to this world that, can, that could make things right? Because sometimes, truly, if not all the times, once we start expressing our love, once we start expressing our authenticity, we start projecting such a powerful energy to this world that we start manifesting truly beautiful results. We start truly making wonderful shifts in our lives. And that's what happened to me once I've decided that, well, I want to express my understanding. I want to express my art. I want to share it with the world. I want to express my ideas and what I feel um, as a truth. What's my truth? I will express it and maybe it can help somebody. And it's truly amazing how many people can resonate with that. You know, once we start doing that, we start connecting and we start building communities. And those communities are truly built on, on truth, on deeper connection, on compassion, on, on kindness. Because uh, we start projecting a completely new energy. And you know that whatever you give, you will get back. So. Keep up with that. Keep up with that research. Be a scientist of your life. The next symptom you may recognize is that you see how unhappy most people are. 
how often we recognize how unhappy most people are. And we see that because we see that we are unhappy. We can't recognize the unhappiness in others until we recognize the unhappiness within ourselves. So you see how programmed people are once you recognize how programmed you were, right? And that's a beautiful realization because again, we feel unhappy so we would find happiness. But to find happiness means to create happiness. So we truly start questioning what to do to be happier, what to do to be more in peace with myself, what to think so I can be more in peace with myself, what I need to let go of so I can be more in peace with myself. So powerful realization, so powerful questions. And again, that's uh, where we get onto that path of, um, of a research, right? Researching our lives. It's all about truly researching ourselves. And to me, it is a beautiful path. Sometimes it's a lonely path, but eventually we meet new people and eventually we, we manifest uh, the right ideas, the right insights, the right information, which can help us on that journey. And that's where we start stepping onto the new world, onto the new earth, what we call as a, a life 2.0, because, um, you know, when we go through those realizations, we can't be the same person anymore. We can't go back to business as usual. We know too much to be the same. We pull off those masks and, and we truly expose our, um, uh, we expose who we truly are. But actually we don't know who we truly are, so we are trying new things, right? And we are actually uh, searching and finding ourselves. So uh, we know what feels the, the, or what is resonating the most with ourselves and we start expressing it, not in a forceful way, but in a loving way. That's um, what um, spiritual awakening is all about. To, to, to connect deeper with the things you, you love, with uh, the things you love to do, with the things you, you love to think about, with the things uh, you care about. And you do more of that and you get consistent with that so you can see um, how far you can expand yourself in those different areas and you know you never know how far it can take you because truly you are nothing else but the universe which is um, expressing through your body so let's see how far we can take it how much we can truly express of um, that uh, new energy, how much we can expand in those areas. Another truly interesting uh, symptom when people go through a spiritual awakening is um, that we seek those deep conversations, we seek honesty, we seek uh, vulnerability. We want to understand how other people feel like, right? So we don't, like, we don't, we want to go deeper every time we are communicating with people. And we recognize that some people just don't uh, know how to, how to express um, their emotions. That's why everything is so on the surface uh, in the society. But once we get uh, deeper into ourselves, we, re we recognize there's so much of trauma, so much of pain, so much of fears uh, we want to get out and we want to understand are other people going through the same things and that's why we, we like to get vulnerable and we like to express our emotions with one another. And that's where we start craving new relationships, people with whom we can truly express those things. So if it is happening to you right now, it's uh, perfectly fine. It's actually a truly beautiful thing because nothing is better, better than understanding one another on that emotional level. So those are a few symptoms you may experience right now as you're moving through that spiritual awakening. and. I want to share love with you 
I'm sending you lots of blessings and power, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed in today's painting and let me know in the comments below uh, how this video may inspire you or express some love. Let's raise uh, some vibration in the comment section and till next time, one love.